Hi, so I've had some um, requests about hips and uh, hip flexors and hip openers. Um, so what we want to do is we want to strengthen this area of the hip, um, but also obviously stretch it out as well. All right, so I'm going to take us through um, a short series of work that you can do at the bar or at your chair and at the floor, okay? Um, so and you can do them both um, consecutively or you can just do each one at a time as you're building up. So we're just going to start by getting some mobility to this hip. So with the floor, uh, with the foot on the floor, we're just drawing a really simple figure of eight. So as I'm doing this, I'm trying to think about lifting up and out of the hip that is connected to, uh, to near the chair, all right? So what I don't want to do is sink down here. I want to lift up and out of that leg. This leg is then working and allowing this hip to move. Now let's just bring that foot off the floor. So we're still doing that figure of eight. Opening, opening, crossing, opening. Over, over, over. Drawing in through those abs, keeping up and out of this hip. So we're strengthening this one with the stability. We're mobilizing this one, okay? Over, over, just four more. Four, don't sink, three, two, one. Okay, so this knee is gonna come down, all right? So my thighs are coming together, my knee is coming together. It's not forward here, it's here, knee to knee. Good, I'm drawing it, slightly pitching forwards. Tailbone is heavy, but I'm not tucked under in the spine. I'm lengthened, okay, this heavy tailbone. Now I reach, so I'm opening out in this external or lateral part of my hip, the side part, up, up and up. Again, I'm stabilizing here, so I'm strengthening here. Lift and open, lift and open, lift and open. Four, three, two, one. And then I'm gonna try that figure of eight. Again, but I'm higher up, I'm lifting. Now what I wanna make sure that I don't do is connect into there, into my back, I don't want to lift it from. I'm lifting, rotating from my hip socket, over, over. So I'm really working on that figure of eight now. Good, four, three, two, one. Let's hold it, open here, really open out. Keep those hips square. Imagine you've got two torches on your hips and you're trying to keep them to the front and just opening out in that knee. Good, keep that foot connected to your calf. Four, three, two, and one. Good, okay, take that to the other side. So, we start out again. Just a nice gentle um, figure of eight on the floor with that toe, drawing that figure of eight, lifting up and out of this hip. Don't sink. Can you see I'm sunk into that here? I want to lift up and out, okay? So I'm stabilizing, active through this hip, lifting up. Good, I'm trying to create space in that hip flexor, running down the supporting side of the body. And then mobilizing this side, crossing, circle, circle. Circle, now let's lift that toe from the floor. Reach, over, so that knee can cross a little bit more now. This side's a bit tired because it's already worked, so I've really got to work on lifting that hip up and away. Over we go, over, over, over. Really cross that knee, over. Four more, four. Three, two, one. We're gonna bring that knee down. Lift, down, lift. Use the chair, use your bar, use your abdominals, use this oblique. Bring the knee to the knee, lift it up. Good, chest is open, shoulders are down, rib cage is drawing down. Good, pull, lift. We're really trying to lift into that lateral part of that hip, that outside edge of that hip, four, 
lift, three, lift. Everyone knows I can't count to four. Four counts usually means 16 moves. Four, three, two, one. Good, now in, up, so it's really open now. Open, lift. Good, we're really trying to bring it into that hip socket now. Not lifting in that back, opening out, bring it round. In, lift, in, lift, in, in, four, three, two, one. Good, bring that leg down, up, down, up, good. Lift up and out of this hip, hold it there, pull. Pull, in, in, close, open, hold it open, push, push open, four, and three, two, and one, good, slide that leg down, okay, so move your chair, come down to the floor, we're going to start in side line position. So we're gonna come onto this elbow. If you find it difficult on your elbow, get a cushion underneath. Okay, if it's really too much on the shoulder, you can always come down here as well, okay? Maybe get a pillow underneath yourself. If you are up, I want you to think about this oblique, lifting, drawing up and away. It means that you're not gonna sink down. So just like when we were at the bar, you're drawing that hip away from the floor, like you were drawing away from the chair. Same thing. Flat across the, uh, the front of the body, like you're sandwiched between two planes of glass. And we're gonna lift, lower, lift, and lower, up. So I'm squeezing into that hip. Again, lift, opening up. Good, lift, and lift, up, and up. Good, four more, four, three, two, and one, and then tiny pulses at the top. Tiny, tiny, don't rock back, pushing through. Good, four more counts, four, three, two, and one. Good, close that down, good. So from here we're just gonna roll over onto the all, all fours, drawing that leg up to the side, same leg, up, back, in, up, back, in. So you're lifting it to the side, pushing it behind, knee to knee. Up, back, and in. So it's again, it's those circles. Round, up, and round. Try to create a flow here. Circling that hip around. Drawing in through the abdominals. Good, scooping that leg around all the way over. Four, three, two, one, and then just bring that through and slightly back through. We're just working that hip mobility, so don't worry too much about anything else, it's just that hip moving, the lever is moving inside that hip socket. Four, three, two, and one. And then bring that down. I'm gonna face the back this time, okay, so that you can see what's happening with the outside part of my leg. So I'm coming down to the floor. We're really pushing forwards, okay? So I don't want you rolling back. We're up and out, spine is in line. You can see that my oblique is lifted here. Hand comes onto the hip, shoulders are down the spine. Try not to let this crunch happen. Draw down, abdominals are in. Good, we're gonna push out with that hip. Good. My feet stay together. I'm really connecting through the length of my foot on the outside edge, on the inside edge, sorry. And opening out. As I open, push into that. Push. So I don't want to roll back. Make sure that that roll doesn't happen. You can see I'm having to work here 
to stay that, to keep that stability in place. Open, 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 open. Four, three. You can do as many of these as you want. You can do it all night while you're watching TV. Now hold it up, up. to get some mobilization through that hip in a different plane. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down and to finish off this little section, we're gonna come onto the back. So I'm gonna face you so that you can see what my legs are doing, okay? So they're making sure that the feet are uh, equidistant apart, rolling down onto your back, I want you to think about rolling the hips up towards your rib cage. So it's not just going push and elevating. I want you to think that you are rolling the hips backwards, which means that you are rolling your pelvis and your spine off the floor. But think of hips, think of hips, think of hips. Good, I want you to keep that. I'm not very high because I'm really thinking much more about that scoop and that roll of my hips pulling towards me than I am about elevating my hips to the ceiling. So keep that pull, keep that tilt, okay? Now I want you to bring your feet together, keeping that tilt there. All right, good. Now open out so that the hips open and then pull them back together and squeeze and tuck under. Lift out and open. Pull them back and squeeze them together. Lift out and open. Pull back and squeeze those inner thighs together. I'm tucking under with my pelvis. I'm opening in those hips. I'm squeezing and tucking them under. Opening in those hips. And obviously this is a great workout for my bottom as well. Opening out in those hips and squeezing under. And again, you can do as many of these as you want. You can keep building. <sighs> Let's just do two more today. Two and one. And keep rolling those hips towards you with your legs closed. Pull down with that spine. Good, bring those knees in towards you. And here, just nice, easy rolling out. Again, stretching out those hips, mobilizing them. Drawing in through the abs. And then a final um, little bit of flexibility on those hips, okay? So just rolling forward, bringing one leg to the side and one leg to the front. So here, we're just gonna work into those hips. So we're pushing this hip forward and through, pulling it back and twisting over. Reaching it to the other side, pushing that through, 
It's not hard on the knees because I'm not pushing the knee into the floor. I'm rolling the hip forward and pulling back and twisting forward and pushing this hip in. I'm rolling back and pushing forward and rolling, rocking that hip through. Rolling back, pushing forward, rocking that hip through. I'm going to move out of shot in a minute. Okay, I'm pushing and rolling and reaching that hip through, drawing through and in, pushing that hip through and rolling and pushing that hip through. Good, so again, all of these, this is more just showing you what to do, but this position here to reach through with this hip is lovely, okay? And you can really get that sense of opening here. You're also stabilizing through this one by not sinking into it, all right? So all of these, you can break down all of these moves and do them individually, or you can kind of put them together as I've just done as one um, exercise uh, sequence, okay? So I hope that helps. Obviously, as usual, any questions, just um, shout, give me an email, send me a message, whatever you need to do. I hope you enjoyed it.